So what I want to talk about in Make Code Arcade is how you can use the walls of the screen to restrict where your sprite can go. So uh, let me show a demo. I'm going to launch the uh, simulator here. And now I'm going to move my character. And you can see when my character hits the wall, it's actually going to bounce. I don't know if the frame rate is high enough for you to see it uh, online or not. But my Adabot head is actually bouncing when it hits the wall. And so the way that I'm doing this, you can see here in Make Code, I've got an on start block. Then I have a background image that I've painted. I've created a sprite with this artwork for the Adabot head of kind player. And I'm moving the sprite with the buttons. And I've actually set it to be a little faster velocity than the default 100 and 100. And then here's the key sprite. Set my sprite bounce on wall, and I've turned that to on. And if you look in the scene, is it in scene? No, it's in sprites. I'm going to go up to sprites. There it is. So there's this set my sprite to stay in screen, and it's turned on or off. If I bring that into my scene here, that's actually the same as this one, and it just has a drop down. So stay in screen means that it'll just stop and stick when it hits the wall like this. So if I turn stay in screen on, and check the simulator, when I hit the edge, it just stops. And so a nice piece of feedback that you can give to the player is this bounce on wall. So it's a little more obvious that they really can't move any further. There's not like a door here that they're somehow missing. It's just simply a barrier. So you can see in the Pi badge here, I've got the same sketch loaded. And actually, I think you can see that a little better, uh, that bouncing action. But there you can see as Adabot reaches the boundaries, her head is simply bouncing off of the edges. And so that is how you can use Make Code Arcade to have your sprite bounce when it hits the walls.